to be alive. My name is Dana Carome, and I am proud to represent the people of the city of Manassas Park and the Prince William County portions of Haymarket, Gainesville, and my lifelong home of Manassas in the Virginia General Assembly and the House of Delegates. Thank you all so much for all of your support last year. Thank you to my team who's out here today, alumnus and alumni and alumna, to my Prince William crew in the back at EPW and LGBT Dems. And thank you to all my constituents and to every person who's made this possible. Because friends, we only made change because we collectively believed we could. And there wasn't a person who, when the time came, wasn't ready to execute, wasn't ready to make it happen by knocking on doors, making phone calls, donating cash, sending out postcards, and more importantly than anything, showing up to vote. And my friends, we've got less than 40 days into the next election. Who here is going to be willing to come out and make your vote heard and make the noise of the ballot box really soon? I know you all can do better than that. For my friend James Parrish from Equality Virginia in the front, give him some noise. Are we going to make some noise November 6th? Yeah! But friends, elections have consequences. I'm living proof that they do because I wouldn't be up here if my name wasn't on a ballot in the first place. And if I didn't have people from Manassas, Gainesville, Haymarket, and Manassas Park who believed in the mission and believed in the message the whole way, that when you take care of your constituents, that when you serve your constituents, you are the antithesis of discriminating against them, of singling out and stigmatizing the very people who you're running to serve and who you're elected to serve. And when we showed up in the Virginia General Assembly this year, things changed, y'all. Things changed in a big, big way. That's why we were able to expand Medicaid to 400,000 Virginians across the Commonwealth, including 3,800 of my constituents. And that's why we were able to make so much more change from raising teacher pay to this year. This year is the first in my memory that zero anti-LGBTQ bills were introduced by any state legislature in Virginia this year. Not one. But my friends, as James will tell you, we have a lot of work to do because it's not just about us being effective on defense. It's about us finally getting some bills passed so that we actually have true equality, equity, and inclusion in our Commonwealth of Virginia. And when we do champion those problems, when we do champion that equality, when we do champion that equity, we see what happens here in Northern Virginia. Like in Prince William County last year, eight days after I won the primary, those of us in purple flooded the zone in front of the school board. And on a five to three vote, that school board of the second largest locality in Virginia voted to include sexual orientation, gender identity, and the non-discrimination update. We fought for 16 months to make that happen, and we got it done. And then in February this past year, on a 5-0 to zero vote, the Manassas Park School Board voted to include sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression in their non-discrimination policy. We are setting the tone of change here in Northern Virginia. And on November 6th, we can bring a lot more change by sending Jennifer Wexton to Congress. And by re-electing my friend Tim Kaine. By taking care of Jerry, of Jerry Connolly. And by taking care of Don Byer. By taking care of other pro-equality folks like Vanjie Williams. All the way down to North, to Elena Loria over in 2nd District. To Abigail. To, so, to Leslie Cockburn. To so many other true equality champions who are on the ballot this fall. So what I need every one of y'all here to do, if you believe that we will win and that the message that we send from Northern Virginia and the Commonwealth of Virginia straight to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue this fall is going to be one where we say that we welcome you because of who you are, not despite it, and not for what discriminatory politicians tell you you're supposed to be. My friends, I need all of y'all to raise a fist of solidarity because we are going to be the change that we believe in. We are going to make the change happen that we need to see in our Virginia, and we will lead the change for the entire United States of America. My friends, my name is Darren Carome. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's go win. Have a great prize, y'all.